Can depression be hereditary? In this video, we're gonna talk about the truth behind depression and genetics, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And real quick, before I get started, I want to thank all you beautiful people out there. We're at like 1,575 subscribers, and it is just like, so you are all amazing. I started this channel with the intention of just helping as many people as possible, and I'm glad that you sit back, watch my videos, hopefully learn some ways to improve your mental health. But do me a favor, share these videos with people. Let's spread the word that you can get better, you can overcome depression, anxiety, addiction, and all sorts of other things, all right? But enough of that mushy stuff, let's get started. All right, so, one of the reasons I'm making this video is because we've been fed a story that when you have depression, there is something chemically wrong with your brain. A lot of people do believe that depression and genetics are linked. And in this video, we're just dissecting whether or not that's true. So we're gonna break down some of the studies, discuss it, and talk about some of the real sources of depression, as well as some of the actual solutions that you can use today. So there's been a lot of studies about the link between genetics and depression. One of the first studies that they did was taking different sets of ideas identical twins and non-identical twins. They got thousands and thousands of twins. The reason why they do this is because non-identical twins do share a lot of the same genetic code. Identical twins have more of the same genetic code. And basically by analyzing both of these uh, sets of twins and looking at the commonality, like how many of them both have depression, scientists were able to kind of get a rough estimate about how much depression and genetics actually plays a role. So what they found out by doing these tests with thousands of different groups of twins was that depression and genetics only accounts for about 37% of people who have depression. So to kind of put this in perspective for you, your height, your height is 90% based on genetics, okay? So while genetics do play a role in depression, it's a very minor role. So the first thing I want you to realize is that most people struggling with depression, this is not a genetic component, okay? One of the most in-depth studies about depression was actually done by a scientist and geneticist, Absalon Caspi. I hope I said that right. But anyways, this study took place in New Zealand. This was the biggest depression study based on genetics ever done in the history of mankind. It spanned over the course of 25 years. So it was in New Zealand, they followed kids for about 25 years, followed their genetics to see how much genetics and depression are linked, okay? So what they found was, was the genetic code 5-HTT, all right? So this is actually part of epigenetics. If some of you have watched some of my addiction videos, there is something called epigenetics epigenetics, um, it plays a role in addiction too. So these are genetics that lie dormant unless certain circumstances happen in your life. Typically, it's some sort of trauma. What this means is that if you have 5-HTT in your genetics, it is purely activated by your environment. So while you are more sensitive and prone to depression, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will get depression, okay? So for example, if you if you had a bad childhood, if you had alcoholic or addict parents, if you were raised in that environment, if you went off to war and experienced PTSD, if you were sexually abused or raped, these are things that can trigger the 5-HTT gene, okay? So while genetics and depression are very, very real, it is purely and only based on your environment. What does this all mean? Why am I making a video about this? Because it's important that we realize that so much of depression is based on our environment and different social situations. So while some of us may already have depression because of our childhood or past traumatic events, we need to start looking towards the future and what we can do. So for example, I'm a parent, right? It's been found that parents who are depressed are more likely to have children that are depressed, but it's not based on the genetic component, it's based on the way we raise our children. So as a parent, it's very important that we take care of our mental health 
so we don't activate that gene in our child. Now, there are outside circumstances that are outside of our control, but we can all work towards a better society and a better solution so less people are having this gene activated. So just to let you know, how did I learn about this? I actually learned about it from the book that I keep ranting and raving about to all of you called Lost Connections, all right? So if you would like to check out this book about the real causes and solutions of depression, make sure you check out the description down below. I will have a link to this. And make sure that you subscribe because this weekend I'm going to do something that I think is going to be so, 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 so cool. I got this idea and I can't wait to do it. And what I'm doing is I'm putting lost connections to the test, all right? So I'm going to be doing a little experiment. So that video will be coming out this weekend. But if you are somebody who is struggling with depression, there are so many solutions. And again, I have so many videos on my channel with scientifically proven ways to overcome your depression. But also if you need more one-on-one -on -one or you need some type of therapy, make sure you check down in the description. I do have a link to some online therapy that you can check out, okay? But anyways, make sure you share this video. Help spread the word about the truth behind genetics as well as depression, all right? Share it with everybody. Make it rain this video all over people, okay? But anyways, anyways, if you like this video, if you like what I'm doing here, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, the little round subscribe button, click that thing. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. And if you click or tap, on one of those thumbnails, you can check out some other videos on this channel, all right? So thanks for watching, stay kind, and I'll see you next time.